And tonight, our Raf Sanchez reports from inside Gaza with a first-hand look at the Palestinians trying to make their way to safer ground. Under the watchful eyes of Israeli troops, an exodus of Palestinians from Gaza City is underway. Children with their hands up, their parents clutching ID cards, the white flag flying amid the destruction. We've been covering this war for more than a month, but this is the first time that we are seeing with our own eyes Palestinian civilians inside of Gaza. This is what Israel's military calls a humanitarian corridor, open a few hours each day for civilians to flee on foot and escape the fighting raging in Gaza City. A quarter of a million Palestinians have taken this route so far, Israel says. As a condition of access, NBC News agreed to blur some faces and submit our raw footage to Israel's military censors, though not our final story. I think every Jew and Israeli can be proud of the fact that we're letting innocent civilians out of the fighting area, out of the fighting zone to clear it out. For Israel, this is proof their war is only against Hamas, not the people of Gaza. But for many Palestinians, this feels like forced displacement. We ask Israel's military. Can you guarantee that these people will be able to return home one day? I think that that is really going to be in the hands of a lot of different players. One of the main ones is going to be Hamas. Soldiers call out in Hebrew in case Hamas is smuggling hostages in the crowd. So they're like asking the children, put your arms up, put your arms up, we'll come and save you, don't worry. So far, no sign of the hostages. Israel believes they're hidden in Hamas's vast network of tunnels, like this shaft in a rural area near the border. We know that if you were to go through this and map out what this leads to, you would reach our hostages. They found nothing in this tunnel. Now they're lowering explosives. Moments later, Israel searching for hostages held in darkness. Palestinians heading into an exile of dust and despair. Raf Sanchez, NBC News, Gaza City. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.